Hello and welcome to this demonstration of our new software, Iconotes Plus. Right now you see that we are on the dashboard. The dashboard will be the first thing that you see when you sign into your account. Here you can see the status of your notes. You can also view all notes and you can do them over a period of time. So from today to 12 months. You can view by clinician as well. And then down here are all the notes that are pertaining to each clinician. You can go straight to a client's account, to their chart, or to the specific note. I also want to draw your attention to these icons here on the left side. We have the dashboard, which brings you back to this page, your chart room, calendar, your quick calendar are your appointments for the day or your daily agenda, your reports, and then I do want to draw your attention to the support icon. Here you can search our library for articles and videos to help you on different aspects of the software. We have our chat on our website where you can talk to a support agent, you could submit a ticket, or you can call in for help. And you also can schedule one-on-one -on -one training sessions with our training specialists. Here in the settings area is where you would set up the back end of your account. You can also turn on uh, client bookings so they can schedule their own appointments through the portal. Um, your practice settings. You can also create intake packets here with the form and assessment package, which um, will easily send any forms that you um, select to patients as part of intake. Under um, account management is where you would add additional users as well. I'm going to go to the chart room now and show you around here. So these are our signature filing cabinets where you can access charts. Um, you'll also see a list of clients here. You can filter them by whether they're active, inactive, pending, or test charts. To create a new chart, you would simply click here, put first name, last name, date of birth, preferred name, their gender identity and sex. You can uh, choose different clinicians if you have other clinicians on your staff. Um, you can also add an email address, which will make you able to send them that intake packet at the same time that you create a chart. You'll see that this lights up. That will give them um, access to their portal and you can send them their client intake right when you create the chart. I'm going to go into an established patient here and show you around. This is our chart face. So on the chart face, you can view client information, their appointment history. You can also see who they're assigned to and you can start a telehealth session directly from the chart face. This area here will pull in automatically the most current information as far as medications, their diagnosis, health concerns, and risk factors. You will have all these types of notes available to you. So progress, case management, complete eval, or your biopsychosocial, couples and family therapy, quick note, and your SOAP note. Here is your documentation here. Um, you'll notice here some are gray, some are blue. So if a note is in progress and not finished yet, it will still be gray. And you can go right here to the work area to access that note. If it is a finished or signed note, you will see it is blue here and the note is compiled and you can access that here. I'm going to go over these tabs across the top real quick. So demographics um, is here. Your clients can actually complete this information through the patient portal. Um, most recent notes, um, billing, you can see um, we have their insurance information. You can also see invoices that have been sent. And you can also request payment through here by clicking here and requesting payment. And we also have an account ledger where you can see the most recent activity on their account. Here's where all, you, all of your documents are housed. You can easily send these to a patient for signature by clicking on these three dots over here and you can share and um, you could share to sign there and that will send that to the patient portal. This communications area is the patient portal where you can see um, the latest forms and assessments that you have sent, whether they've been completed or sent and also messaging. You could message them through here. 
Um, you can also send appointment reminders. We have um, the ability to do email appointment reminders and text appointment reminders, and you would need to turn these features on. And then we also have treatment plans here. So I'm going to go through a progress note really quick with you. We'll start with the clinical status complexity. You'll notice that it creates complete sentences in the yellow area. The yellow area is a free text area, so you can add more information if you like. We'll move on to the symptom shrub, and we call it a shrub because as you click on a button, more options will open up in the next column and sometimes the third column. Next, I want to show you this new feature in Iconotes Plus, which is our edit mode. So I'll turn that on. And you'll notice here that the appearance of the shrubs have changed. Here you can remove content if you don't use it on a regular basis. You can also move things to the top if it's something you use often. That will increase your workflow. And you can also add custom content with each within each individual shrub, and you can create custom content here on the right side. And I'll turn edit mode off. And we'll add behavior. We will skip the psychotherapy and move on to mental status exam. And I'll just click through these as this is a button driven program. We will also look at the suicide violence risk assessment. And we'll move on to part two. Here we'll click into medication for e-prescribe. Here's where you would see a list of medications for your patient. We'll go into manage medications and prescribe new drug. Go into category. Here we'll check all the details and the pharmacy and then we will send to pharmacy approve and send. We will return to part two. Here your diagnosis will move forward from note to note. We'll add our service code, our follow-up, and in this area we can add our instructions and recommendations. And we do have custom buttons over here on the side, so if there's content you use um, across the board from patient to patient, you can add those as such as continue medication and discussing risks and benefits. Then we can link to a treatment plan. We'll select from the list, the problem, select our interventions that we worked on, link them in the note. We'll say that there's been some progress so we want to continue the current plan and we will link that in. And now we can compile and preview. Once we've done that, you can see that all that information has aggregated into a complete narrative type note. It looks like he spent a lot of time typing. And now you would just electronically sign once you've done that, we can generate an invoice and request payment. And here we'll request payment. They will receive this email where they can go right in to pay. And they don't need to be in the portal to pay. They can do this right through their email. So we will request payment. And you will see here the email has been successfully sent.
Next, I will demonstrate how to submit insurance claims through Iconotes Plus. Go back to our dashboard and go to our billing work list. We can do a quick search for the note that you just created by putting in the date. And here's the note that we created here. We're going to click here and then we're going to submit claims. It will let us know that it has been successfully submitted. Okay. Claim successfully submitted. And if we come in here to build encounters, you'll be able to see that note here that it has gone through. Now we can go to change healthcare. And here is the claim that has been submitted. We can click here on the claim ID. And here we can see that it has been submitted and we can see that it has been accepted. And here's all the details about that. Now I'll go back to the uh, chart face here and just quickly run through what our complete eval or our complete assessment looks like. I won't go through this because as you know, it, it's quite um, extensive, but here you'll see we do have the button driven content here as well. So we have history of present illness, past psych history, medical history, social history, developmental history, family mental health, mental status exam, and then you would complete that note just like we did in the last one. Okay, so next thing I want to show you is what the patient sees from the patient portal side. So here I'm going to go into the client portal and sign in there. And this is what they're going to see. Um, so this is their dashboard and they can put in their demographic information here and this will pull into their chart. They can see any messages that may be pending. So here there's one and it is that I am requesting her signature on that document that we sent over. So we can click on there to review and, um, and then um, they would click here to review and sign. So we'll go in there real quick so you can see. Um, here's that document that, um, that we sent. Here we have, uh, let's see, we have a PHQ-9 that needs to be completed. So we'll come in there and view that. Oh, here we go, this one here. So this is um, the release for medical information. So here they would input this information for you and then they would digitally sign and then that would be sent back over to you. And you will be able to get a notification in your iKnotes Plus account to let you know that something has been sent. Okay, and then under my account, this is where they can see their current client balance and they can pay right through the portal. This gives them their account details so they can see that clearly. They can view invoices and then they can also put their credit card on file. Also from the portal, they can schedule appointments. So to book an appointment, um, they're an established client. So they click here, it's going to be in person and they want to come in next week at 10 a.m. We will confirm that date and time. And here it says you're booked. They will receive an email to let them know and you will receive an email to let you know that someone has scheduled an appointment. And from your account, you will need to confirm that. So from your account, we'll go into our calendar and you'll see that here is that pending appointment here. So we will simply click here to confirm and then that appointment will be on your calendar. So I hope you liked this overview of Iconotes Plus. Have a great day.